Okay, next I am going to explain how we have to draw the development of the frostum. Now thing is, we can never draw the development of a frostum. We can only draw the development of the pyramid. So what you have to do is, you have to convert this frostum to a pyramid. Okay, now for that what you have to do is, first you have drawn the top view, top, uh, top bottom face is 50 mm, top face is 20 mm, the height is 50 mm. So first we will be drawing the top view and front view. What you do is you extend the front view so that we are getting an imaginary apex of this pyramid. Okay, for that what you do is first extend the axis. I will be extending the axis first. Then you extend A dash, B dash, 1 dash, 2 dash and C dash, D dash, 3 dash, 4 dash. All these lines will meet at a particular point. You name it as O dash. So now we are getting an imaginary square pyramid. It's now not a frost term, but it's an imaginary square pyramid. Since it is not part of the solid, this much portion should be drawn lightly. And again here you can see that you have you are going to draw the development of this square pyramid now. But you can again see the slant edges are not parallel to xy. So first you have to make one slant edge parallel to xy. So I will be making OI center OD radius. I will be rotating it. I will be making it parallel to xy and I will be finding the true length. And then I will be drawing the development of the square pyramid first. I will be drawing the development of the square pyramid first. As we have done in the previous problems. Okay. So you take 50 mm. First you take any distance you like. You join OA with OA center OA radius. So draw an arc. You take 50 mm as radius. You cut it four times. You will be getting OA, OB, OC, OD and again OA. Now assume this as a horizontal section plane. So if it is a horizontal section plane. We will be drawing a horizontal line. You have to draw a horizontal line till the starting of the development. You will be getting a point here. With OR center and this distance as radius, you rotate it. You will be getting points 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, joined using straight lines. Okay. So, this much portion is part of the frustum. That much portion should be drawn darkly. The remaining portion should be drawn lightly. So, this is how you will be drawing the development of the frustum of the square pyramid. So, first you convert the frustum to an imaginary pyramid. Then you draw the pyramid. You draw the development of the pyramid. And then identify the points of the top face. Okay. This is how you will be drawing the development of the frustum. Same is the case if it was a pentagonal pyramid or external pyramid. The construction is the same. I am just explaining with the square pyramid only. Now read our question. Now read the question first and what is it asked? You are asked to find the shortest distance between two points. Which are the two points? One is the corner of the top face. Corner of the top face means we are having three, four corners. One, two, three, four. You can select any corner. I am going to select corner one. Okay, corner of the top face and opposite corner. Opposite corner means three. But it is not opposite corner. It is opposite corner of the base. Opposite corner of the base means it is C. So I can select 1 and C. It is not necessary. If you want, you can take B and, sorry, 2 and D. Or you can select 3 and A. Or you can select 4 and B. So I am going to select 1 and C. Corner of top face and opposite corner of the base of the first. I am going to find the shortest route from corner of the top face to the opposite corner of the base. Again, as I had explained earlier, if you want to find the shortest route, you have to start from the development. So my starting point is 1, my finishing point is C. Coming on to development. This is 1, 2, 3, 4 and again 1. Starting point is 1, finishing point is C. So you have to join 1 and C using a straight line. Okay. And you can see, you can see that the, this line will pass only through one slanted. That will be B2. Okay. So these three points, 1, the point on B2, then a point on C. These points you have to transfer it to top front view and then to top view. Okay, point 1. This itself is our starting point. This is 1 dash. Ending point is C. That means in a front view it will be C dash. Starting point is 1 dash. Finishing point is C dash. Intermediate, we are having only one point that is on B2. As we have done in the previous problems, first you rotate this point till the starting of the development and then you rotate, project it horizontally. You will be getting a point here. So the shortest distance will be you have to draw a line from one dash to this point and then from this point to this point. The shortest route in front view will be like this. Similarly, you have to find the shortest route in top view also. Starting point is one, finishing point is C. Intermediate, we are getting only one point in B2, that is in B dash, 2 dash. So you have to project it vertically till B2. 
this point is lying on b dash 2 dash not on a dash 1 dash it is lying only on b2 so it is lying only on b dash 2 dash so it has to lie only on b2 so we will project it vertically we will be getting a point here so starting point is 1 intermediate we are getting another point here ending point is c so you join using a straight line from here to here and then from here to here okay draw it by yourself